Hey everyone, you may remember this place from videos in years past. I will link that in the description if you're interested in seeing what this place used to look like. The Department of Fish and Game here in Massachusetts has done big improvements here to this beaver sanctuary. They will not ever remove the beavers. This is their sanctuary, this pond right here. In years past, the water's been up to the top of their dam. That's what this is right here on the edge of the road. This is a beaver dam that has nothing to do with the road. But for many years now, it's been trickling over the dam into the edge of the road. But recently, they came in here with a whole bunch of dump trucks, made the road higher, graded it, made a little pile here. So now if it does start coming over again, at least there's a good drainage ditch to catch it. The drainage ditch before was not that good. And I did say, I remember in last year's video, that they should not dig it out again next to it because it could undermine the dam. But it looks like they did something to lower the water totally because it was up to the top of the dam trickling over. And by doing this, water starts to see how it's seeping through there. It could erode and the whole dam could push out. But it looks like they found a really good way of doing it. They lowered the entire level of the pond for now. And driving in, I see they did a lot of improvements to the beaver structures. To make sure the pond doesn't get too high and start overflowing, they have a whole bunch of these black culvert pipes going right through the beaver dam. And on the end of them are beaver deceivers. Those do not work most of the time. The beaver will usually defeat them or continuously wreck them one after another. But for the time being, everything's working. And pretty soon, give it a few more weeks, this pond, everything is gonna freeze over. Now the beavers can't build once it freezes over. But what they can do, because beavers don't hibernate, they're still active underneath the pond. They spend the whole summer collecting food, basically sticks, they sink them all over the pond and that's their food for the winter. They chew the bark off. They rarely ever leave the pond in the winter time. They're nice and safe from predators in the deep water that's frozen over, but the beaver deceiver is underwater. They can clog those things up in the winter time. And then the pond could start rising. You'll see ice cracking like crazy as it comes up. See right here, they have a whole bunch of weights, blocks of concrete with anchors that they put on, along the bottom of these culvert pipes to keep them still and in the right spot. They have a brand new gigantic trash rack around that one to stop the beavers from getting right up to the pipe and easily clogging it or even clogging inside it. It would take the beavers a longer to make a dam around the entire round structure. Water goes up and it can still pour in in an emergency. It would take a while for beavers to build a dam high enough where it would actually cross over the road. And they have another grate right here. You see what that is? That's a beaver dam around the whole thing. Got a good amount of water coming through. Three culverts leading into one of equal size. Goes across the road. Last year when I came here, this was a big beaver pond up against the road. There was a big beaver dam right here before entering the swamp. It looks like with excavators. I even see their little road in right here. They removed the entire beaver dam and they put that structure right there. That structure I believe was actually there. That was for the beaver pond here before the swamp. It looks like they just left it there in case they have to use it again. That was one big beaver dam that they removed. Let's walk in right here where the excavator went. I still see excavator tracks everywhere. The grass had no chance to grow back yet. So this was later in the year when they did this project. Here's a whole bunch of grates and pieces of culvert that they just abandoned and left out here. I don't know why they left it here. That's okay to do in my eyes with metal culverts, but not the plastic ones, which are just gonna degrade into the ground, leaving microplastic. But this right here is part of the beaver dam. It went all the way across here, making this probably three feet of water. And they did have this structure with a pipe going through that dam. They were gonna let the beavers have that dam, but beavers kept being problematic, so they had to get rid of it. At least the beavers got to keep their big dam across the street. In this massive pond, just at a 
tiny bit lower levels. Let's cross over this drainage ditch and try to get a view a little bit more up close. You see all this rocks and stuff. The excavator threw stuff up on top of the beaver dam as they were digging out the drainage ditch. Walking around right here on top of the beaver dam. You see how it's nice and thick here. This is because they probably keep ripping into it with excavators. They keep putting new culvert pipes in. All right, they do not have a beaver deceiver this year. Last year they had a beaver deceiver, which is a, on the end of the culvert pipe, it's a big plastic T with holes in the bottom. It comes up and through. It takes a while for beavers to figure out how to clog that. But eventually they just chew right through it and they enter it and clog it up. You see along the edge, very fresh lining they made with mud for the winter time. That's them reinforcing their dam, smoothing mud out. But you see the dam used to be up here. They lost at least a foot, maybe more of water during this construction. Where you see these poles, there used to be another beaver deceiver. I can't tell what's down there at the moment. It might be a beaver deceiver or it might be another trash rack. And that's the pipe leading out. That is pretty awesome. And you got that grate right there. That's in case they clog both of these up. Obviously the water is going to come up, start flowing over into this pond or flow over into the drainage ditch leading to this pond. And that's why they have that grate to get it out. So even if they do clog both of these pipes leaving their swamp, the water will still have a way to trickle over the dam into the ditch, into that pond and still get underneath the road without a problem. But the beavers could clog that too. The simple answer to this, you just have to do maintenance every now and then with the beavers. With the system they have in place, you only have to come out here maybe once every few weeks, maybe longer, depending on the rainfall and what materials they have to work with. Great solution. You just got to be proactive and make sure these things stay unclogged. And it looks like they finally did much needed improvements to this beaver swamp. And again, last year's video, so you can see what this place used to look like, will be linked in the description. Got a whole bunch of water right here. Big puddle. Not that deep. Wow, a lot more shallow than I thought. That looked like a massive puddle. That thing was like an inch at the most. Can't believe how flat the bottom of that puddle was. All right, everyone, we're gonna look at one more beaver structure that the state of Massachusetts worked on out here. Just turning around. They're very rough roads. They finally reopened. They're only open for hunting season, and there are a lot of hunters out here at the moment. It looks like they're mostly bird hunters, probably. They got all their dogs with them. Here's that puddle once again. I can't believe how shallow that was last year when I came out here. It was deep, but it must have been just filled up because this thing is a very, very shallow puddle. Yeah, didn't slow me down one bit. All right, here we are pulling up on the beaver swamp. I'm going to quickly show you. And every year I've been here, this has been very flooded out. Usually the water here is almost crossing over the road. Beavers usually clog this really fast. But it looks like they have a fresh new structure here. Just gonna pull over enough that another truck could get by me, but I only plan on being here a minute or two anyways. The sun in the trees does look beautiful. Here we are. Usually the water is like two feet higher, which is just about up and over the road. This right here is part of that beaver pond we were just at down there, the further up section where it's not open water, it's mostly swamp and a whole bunch of little channels. Beavers actually excavate, make all these little channels. Hey, you hear that? 
Sounds like one of the hunters shot something. I just heard that loudly. Look at this. Here's a little beaver dam they made. And that backs up through the pipe, makes it higher on this side where the beaver structure is. Yep, you see the water coming out of this pipe and into that pipe underneath the road. This right here is just a backup. If beavers do clog that structure, which has absolutely no debris on it, amazingly, the water will go up a little bit, back over it, still using that structure, but it also gets a chance to go in this structure here also. Yep, they didn't make any improvements to this, but that they definitely cleaned it up. It may not be a new structure. It looks like a new structure, but at the very least, they unclogged it. And this is flowing really nicely through here now. Look at the angle that pipe comes up. It's kind of cool. It goes around almost a 45 degree angle bent up into the structure. It's working very nicely. Good to see that these beavers won't have to be relocated. They get to keep their nice big beaver pond. All right, everyone, it's about 4 p.m. and we are heading out. It's almost getting dark. We just went through daylight savings not too long ago and I'm still not used to it getting dark at around 4.30. Coming back out to the main artery. Yep, now you can see it to the left. The big pond with the open water. That's the same swamp going all the way back there to where we just were. That's where a small portion of the water comes from. There's a lot of little streams that feed all these beaver ponds. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great day.